Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So today we're going to see um, one little thing people tend to miss it and then they always struggle to find this option. Um, so that is after you create your design profile uh, and then your existing surface profile and your design profile and the profile view and everything, your depth will always be zero. The reason being is you're creating a profile view before you create your design profile. So the design profile is an addition on top of your surface profile and then on top, you, it's not necessary you should have only one design profile. You can have multiple design profiles. So the problem being is Civil 3D cannot take this judgment saying that, okay, this is my design profile um, based on just because you have added one design profile. Okay, so that is the reason the depth value is not being calculated from these differences that is the difference between the existing profile and the, um, the design profile so now we need to manually tell civil 3d to say that okay uh, you need to calculate the de depth between these two items so once we've done that then civil 3d will be able to calculate the depth so for that select your profile view now remember there is few different items up here so one is the actual profile so when you select it if you click on profile view nothing is going to happen so if you select your labels for example and then if you if you see there is no tools on top of it so if you click on your grid lines then you will see that it's a profile view and then when you click on profile view properties, it will take you to the profile view properties. So now the issue is actually with the band. So nothing to do with the profile. So you go to bands and now you can see all the band data that you can see here. Um, so that's all the uh, styles. One is a design, natural surface, depth, and changes and things like that. So the problem is with the depth. So the depth is calculated from P1 minus P2, that is design minus existing ground surface. So now if you scroll, when you're selecting the depth, if you scroll and you see that there is P1 and P2, that is profile one and profile two. So now we know that profile one is design and profile two is natural surface. So now all you have to do is from this column, you have to select as profile one as design, which is if, which is this one. I hope that I'm right. Okay, and then the profile to which the natural surface, which is fine. You can leave it as such. So once you happy with this one, click OK, and then you can go down and you can see the value has been calculated. Sometimes if the change is not reflecting uh, on the fly, just type in REA and that will do a region all. So then you can see the things getting reflected on the screen. All right, guys. So that is how you fix your depth in your bands for your profile view. And um, so if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and then I'll add a few more videos as well. Thanks, guys. Cheers. And thank you.